when did you feel like Jocelyn was fueled by cocaine? When them cameras like started rolling. Changing, she started changing on you. When them cameras started rolling. I've always known that Jocelyn has had a cocaine habit. That's not a secret. You know, it's not a big deal. A lot of people do cocaine. I'll never speak down on her. Like I said, I respect her. But it's really taken a toll on her. It's, it's done a turn for the worse. And when we did our reunion and we couldn't get through the reunion and we couldn't get no questions asked because she was just feeling like Incredible Hulk. I was like, wow, she's she's really far gone. She's really far gone. But she completely switched up on me once the camera started rolling. We both live in Miami. We would hang out every day, be together every day. And, you know, that was my, I was her bottom bitch. You know, even if it wasn't the right term, bottom bitch, I was her top bitch. I was her right-hand man. You know, I was willing to do whatever for her. Like, before we started filming, she would call me, like, I need you to make this scene a movie. Like, pop your shit. So I was there for her, but... I just seen her switch up, and I think the drugs has something to do with it. And I pray she gets the help that she needs. You know, it's it's serious. Like, addiction is a serious thing, and I feel like she's far gone. I do, I really do. Damn. So I really do. What came into play when you made the decision to go from Zeus to now that's TV? Yeah. Um, it seemed like a couple, a handful of the Zeus girls are going over to Now That's TV. Yeah, a lot of people are going to Now That's TV. Shout out to Now That's TV, my new show. Um, I feel like Zeus kind of blackballed me when me and Jocelyn fell out. And mm. I don't blame them because it's like, that's their bread and butter. Like, I'm just a cast member. So who are they to keep working with me and giving me an opportunity? Because she's the type of bitch that if they would have given me another show or put me on another show like Baddies or anything... That you would have fit over there perfectly. Yeah, and I auditioned I don't know why for it. You ain't got I there talked yet. to Natalie. Natalie wanted to put me on, but she said it was up to the network ultimately. And at the end of the day, ah, uh, Natalie, <clears throat> I love you to death, baby. <laughs> but you came up here not too long ago and said, "Yeah, pretty much, you are the network." <laughs> you know, so I mean, damn. And that's, that's how Jocelyn was, because you know, Jocelyn and Natalie are their big breadwinners. I love, I love Natalie. Natalie, Nat, shout out to Natalie Nunn, man. She. Definitely came in. I think I did it with me and Gina. Gina invited me on it. We sat down. It was definitely cool. Yeah, shout out. out to Natalie. I appreciate yeah. her. Like, she's the type of bitch that's giving bitches platforms. Mm -hmm. You know, she's helping yeah, she these is. girls who are smaller. You know, let me put you on. And, yeah, I, and I love me, a bitch like that. When she told me what she was giving a bitch, she said just in a couple of weeks and just coming and hanging out with me, I said, yeah, that's a cool little bag. I couldn't yeah. even argue with the girl. I said, oh, okay, then, you know. <laughs> she's, she's definitely... I mean, I don't call know it if that's her true. I, don't, yeah. I, I saw the interview and I seen what she said they were giving them. And I don't know if that's true or not. But on Jocelyn's show, they was giving us 1000 a week. And wow, what a thousand she a week. Said was oh that's busting y'all little. Bumper. That's I, I commented bumper. on the post and I'm like that's I'm big cast. Like, but maybe with her show they were doing more. But I know for Jocelyn's show, all of the cast members they were giving us a thousand a week. I'm telling for you, how many weeks? How many for weeks? three weeks? For three hey, weeks. Listen. What? 3,000 for three weeks. You remember when that So that's why I left. Bonus? I'm like, bitch, I make this in a day. Like, what the fuck? Maybe, well, y'all's was two years ago. Right, exactly. They've, so they've, maybe, you know, they, they've the bag might shit. be different. Uh, man, because Natalie was talking about... <clears throat> 50k. I, mean, two, I heard her. Weeks, she yeah, said 50k. Like, yeah, I ain't wanted, but she's talking about 50k for two. Well, three shout weeks. out to that paycheck. I'm trying to be on baddies. I don't care if it's west, south, north, <laughs> east. I don't give a fuck. I'm that bitch for it. But um, <laughs> I don't. I don't work over there or nothing. But it looked like the the but one more chance girls was. It looked like they was making getting it back too. I could. They was I don't looking know if my a little hungry. But um. Yeah, I fuck with Natalie. Shout out to yeah. Natalie. She she was talking about having me on baddies. It didn't work out. And I feel like it was because I was pretty much blackballed, you know, for speaking out on Jocelyn. And they probably felt like if they gave me another show or another opportunity that Jocelyn would be pissed. You know, that's what type of bitch that she is. She don't want to see nobody doing better than her. Yeah. And that's the vibes that I got from her. Um, I felt like with her... You know, you came from being a stripper. You came from being a hoe. But you talk so down on strippers and hoes. And that's just not me. If I if I was to make it to a billionaire tomorrow, I would never talk down on where I came from or what right. I did to get here or talk down on these girls that's trying to make their way out. And I feel like that's what type of bitch that she is, that she just, not to talk bad about her. but Jocelyn Hernandez. Yes, not to talk bad about her, Jocelyn. But I'm not feeling that. I feel like... Any girls in the industry, the strippers and hoes, you talk to them crazy. You're a $2 bitch. You're a $2 hoe, this, that, and the third. Like, bitch, you came from the strip she club and hoeing, too. Listen, no offense to her. Shout out to Jocelyn, but she talked like that's where she came from. 
That's what I she thought. She talked like that's where she like, came I, from, but right. she don't respect it. She don't respect. She I don't respect that. it. Like the way you know what I'm saying, like I haven't watched her lately, mm-hmm. but from when I first watched Jocelyn Hernandez hit the scene, like Living that's what made me. That's what made me respect her. Like, oh, okay, it used to make me laugh when I walk by the TV and I watch somebody watching the shit and just whatever. I'd be like, <laughs> I was like, man, they let somebody through the door. Right. No so way. to hear her say like it's. it's some bullshit. I'm like, you know, she Since changed. she started her cabaret, she talks down on the ladies. Like, y'all ain't shit. Y'all some dusty ass bitches. Y'all some dick sucking ass hoes. And it's just like, bitch, you came from the same life as me. I'm trying to get to where I thought that she was going to be more of a mentor. Like, you know what? I, I did what you did. And let me help you make it out of the gutter or where, mm-hmm. where you're coming from. But instead, it was just like low blows after low blows after low blows. And, I, and me personally... If I was to make it tomorrow, I would never talk down on a bitch that came from where I came from. That's just me. Yo, we just hit 400,000 subscribers right here on the Clips channel. So if you want to help us out, click subscribe, get us to 500K. Yeah.